Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share a word with you that I'd shared in my community post yesterday. The title is Worship, and this word was posted by Terry Hennessy. Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I just want to share a little bit of info regarding this word from Abba Father. As I woke this morning, not when the Lord asked me to wake, but as a result of deciding to sleep in a little later than he was calling me, I woke up not in a very good mood. I prayed a few prayers and then decided to get up and start my day. As a result, my mood became worse and worse, and of course a grey cloud followed me around. From hitting the most fragile part of my ankle and crying out in pain, to a huge mess of feathers floating in the air, causing me a lot of extra work in cleaning. The anguish in me grew. Then I heard a word from the Lord from someone on YouTube, and he was reminding us of our need to be obedient. After repenting, many tears, and then finally entering into worship, I felt myself being lifted up out of the mire and warm light, replacing my gray cloud. I could see myself in the spirit kneeling very low before him in his throne room. I was so tiny. He was so big. Like the difference between the size of an ant compared to a human being. No doubt this was meant to humble my heart. After coming out of worship, Abba gave me the following message. Daughter, write my words. Do you see how this time spent with me lifts you up? Worship is not just about glorifying your God, but it is also about bringing you higher into a realm where there is no pain, no anguish, no enemy to defeat you. It is also meant to fill your heart with pure joy, and your heart, through worship, feels what your hearts were created to feel, which is love. My worship is meant for us together, for it is meant to bring my children closer to me, that we commune together in this place. It gives you a renewing of your spirit from all the enemy has depleted and is a necessary step in strengthening your resolve. The more you worship, the less the enemy can deplete from you. Thus, the stronger you become. This is why it's so important to start your day with me in worship so you can be strong throughout your day. Throughout the day, with every wrong the enemy puts in your path, it begins to weaken you, and by bedtime you are depleted once again. But by not coming to me in worship first thing in the morning, you are feeling defeated almost immediately and thus you have no strength to endure the hardships Satan throws at you, and as much, sorry, and as such, you fall much easier, much sooner. I am for you, my bride. It is not just about glorifying me. I am does all for the good of those who love me. All I ask you to be obedient in is not just for the sake of being obedient, On the contrary, it is all meant to bring you to victory, to the finish line of this incredible race and journey. This, what I ask, is just as much for your benefit as for mine. Go now with my blessing of peace, strength, resolve, and persevere in all I ask of you, for it is for you as much as it is for me. I love you, my bride, to everlasting and eternity. Amen. Your loving Papa, Abba Father. And P.S. Please share this with my bride. And that is the end of this message. I pray that this lifts you all up and encourages all of you to keep pressing in and keep your focus on the Lord and your relationship with him, especially in these times that we are in. 
I pray you all will have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you, and I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.